Oh my gosh. Although it has really good flavor, it's just not my cup of tea. That chocolate is so good. I do not know if I've ever been more excited for a video in my life. <laughs> Today is chocoholic, as you can see, and this is only half <laughs> of the chocolate that we have. We're going to be doing a part two series of European chocolate taste testing. As you can see today we're doing Kinder and Milka. We actually noticed that there's also some Ferrero Ferrero chocolates in here. They look very similar to the Kinder packaging so we're going to be testing some of those as well. Today we've got 21 different kinds <laughs> of chocolate out here. I'll be at the same brands for half of them. We're really excited. There are more kinds of the Milka's chocolate. These are the ones that we thought were unique and that we had never tried. We have tasted a couple milk chocolate ones in our travels previously, so these ones are all gonna be new to us. Let's we'll start these stuff. You guys recommended four very popular chocolates here in Germany. These are two of them. Our next video, we're gonna do the other two. Mm -hmm. It just was too much to handle on one video. So we broke it up and gave ourselves some time to let our tongues and our palates really <laughs> settle because this is not a small feat that we're about to do. No, and the most popular answers we got back when we asked about the most common of chocolate were these Choco Bonds and then these ones here. Let's get started. Let's go. So we're gonna start out here on the far right corner and they have like a mini type brand that we got as well, but this is the Kinder Bueno and it looks like it is a, who knows what it is. Here's one for you. I think the Kinder Mini are just these in packaging. Mm. Hazelnut, that's nice. You got that wafer with it, and then the creaminess inside is mmm. Kinder is pretty popular in the States. Um, her little sisters get like the little Kinder eggs, yeah. and they are, <laughs> they are so excited about them. But this is something that we don't search out for as much, so this is fun. Yeah. What do you think? Very, very good. Yeah, nice. Okay, next we've got another hazelnut flavor, but this one is the Dupo from Ferrero. It'll be good to test out the two hazelnut ones in a row to see. So there's not cream inside of that one. Not a, a not as much cream. There is still some cream. And it has more chocolate in it. Like it has yeah. a dark chocolate. Maybe dark chocolate? I don't know. I think it's just milk chocolate. But I like it. The Bueno's just stronger flavor, hazelnut flavor. And this one's yeah. more milk chocolate. Yeah. Not but bad. good. Still, This one still has a crunch from it. You can like a wafer type crunch in it. Yeah. Very similar coconut this time. We need to keep the water close by. Rinse out our palate. Mm -hmm. mm, hold up. There you go. Almond Joy, first thing that came to my mind. Yeah, oh, it's like yeah. so close, except without the nut. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, makes sense, it's coconut, right? Coconut chocolate. But maybe a little bit more chocolatey than an Almond Joy. And yeah. I think that's why I like it too. The thing that came to my mind was like a chocolate covered coconut Nuts. The macadamia one? So they'll be like an almond with like coconut flavor and then the chocolate over. Right. That's kind of similar except without the nut again. Right. Quick rinse. The most recommended one. This one looks like it's a milk chocolate. Milk yeah. inside. Milk inside. Mm. I got it. It tastes like a Hershey's cookies and cream without the crunch of the cookies in it. Mm. Yeah. Kind of a white chocolatey flavor given Hershey's is not your top chocolate tier. <laughs> so I'd say the quality of this is much better, but I'm getting similar flavors. What do you think? No, I agree with you. Mm -hmm. I'm just not so much of a cookies and cream kind of guy. So although it has really good flavor, it's just <laughs> not my cup of tea. Yeah, I agree. I didn't enjoy it as much as I thought, but still great. Yeah. The choco bones. So this looks like it has milk base in the middle and then hazelnut. I think so, like little crunchies spread within. Guys, should we eat these all at once? No, I think I'm not. You're not going to? Uh -uh. I will, to see the difference. Whoa! Yeah, I, I was gonna say, that was a good bite. I really like to savor my chocolate, so this is a lot of big bites for me, but what do you think? The hazelnut flavor is very good in this one. Mm -hmm. It's not too overpowering, it still tastes like that milk. Between the two, I would take this one, just yes, smaller bites. Mm -hmm. I'm glad I only took half bite on that one. Yeah, yeah, I think that's the way to do it, savor it more and taste it. 
all thoroughly. The texture of biting into it whole though was really cool. It felt like a piece of gum almost. Just the inside, like it was just like a solid bite to it and I didn't mm. expect that. I expected like a really creamy inside, but it's got more texture to it than you think. All mm. right, on this side, we've now got this. It looks like wheat with oats, puffed oats, right? And something else and milk. And the texture of it, we've broken off pieces of everything. This is the bottom. So you can tell that there's gonna be some good texture in there, some good crunch. <laughs> yep. Hello. <laughs> it's got like like I said, it's got those um got puffed rice. It kinda of took there. me back to like a cereal. It did. You know, uh, to the um, golden puffs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. I think that we talked about that on our other video where we went to the bakery and it mm -hmm. had those same puffed rice. Right, I'm saying that right. I think they're good. Out of all the ones we've had so far, this is probably my least favorite just because that flavor of the wheat, I don't know. It, I feel like country is a perfect description of this candy bar, but it's not my preference. Yeah. These are the cutest little hippos, you guys. So cute. I don't even really want to eat it, but I also do. So we got a chocolate kind, a cacao, and then a hazelnut kind. It looks like they're both going to be having half compared to this picture. It still has half of white on the bottom of both. Take a bite and then we'll switch. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That chocolate is so good in there. It's so sweet. <laughs> like, very nice though. All right, let's do a switch. I didn't like the outside crunch as much. Like, I'm just all chocolate. Like, just give me the chocolate. But that, oh. I'm not going to lie. I liked the hazelnut one better. And it's just because this is pretty powerful. Like, that's a rich cream. Like, I thought that one was sweet. Man, this is rich. But, <laughs> that being said, tall glass of milk. And, mm -hmm. like, one of these is, like, a lot for me. Yeah, honest. yeah. I loved the chocolate one for sure. That's my favorite. The sun is coming out. So, hopefully, you guys can still see us. This one's really unique. The picture's the Kinder Cards. Little I see layers, white on mine. Little what, layer of uh, milk. Kind of like a s'more. A s'more. A s'more. <laughs> I don't know. It's so different than anything I've had, I think. It's so unique. It's a yeah. Kinder card. I didn't expect, like, the texture of it is so good because it's got that. I feel like a lot of these things, like, it's a hard outside and the inside is just so creamy. Mm -hmm. And I'm always surprised every time with the texture. Like, good job, Kinder, with that. Yeah. It always surprises me. Well, the sun has come out. I'm going to take out my jacket and we need to eat up these chocolates before they melt. Oh, yeah. I'm not sad. Mocha. This one is like a chocolate truffle. It came in an assortment pack of four. We just thought it'd be a great idea to get the small ones. Hmm, I'm not a fan. What is that? It's like a chocolate truffle. Yeah. Yeah, for whatever reason, I'm not as much of a fan of this one. I'm not either, actually. It's a little darker, but also, I can't put a, I can't put a name to it, but it's... Yeah, it's just a, it's a little bit different. Let's talk about the creaminess in the mouth. Like, it's still lingering in there. That chocolate is staying in my mouth as much as I try and get it off the roof of my mouth and around. So it's a super creamy chocolate. Oh my gosh, this weather has been crazy. It's starting to rain now before our ch chocolate was melting, so we waited. We're just gonna hurry and oh, do well. it. Here we go. <laughs> rain or shine, here we go. This next one is just regular milk chocolate. I think this will be probably my favorite. Man, it's, it's just sticking to my mouth. This milk yeah. chocolate is so creamy. That's nice. Really good piece of milk chocolate. Erdbeer? Is that how you say strawberry? Strong flavor. Yeah. I'm not one for fruit chocolates. But that's not bad. Yeah, it took me for a loop. It's a lot stronger and strawberry than I thought, especially for just being this small. I noticed just now, actually, that we have a big strawberry one. So I'm just going to take a little bite to see how it compares to the small chocolate. Mm. I like the bigger one better, oh, wow. actually. It's like a, yeah, it's definitely a sweeter. It has that milk. There's more of that. Milk in it as well. Okay, cool. let's hop back to this end one. Hazelnut flavor. Yeah, that really is good, good stuff. Little crunchies in there mm -hmm. too, little hazelnut broken up. That leads us to the extra cocoa one. I only got one piece because I knew Tanner wouldn't want much. Yeah. Mm, I like it. It's got a darker flavor. <laughs> I. It's not even like crazy dark, there's just like, it's there's strong. It's strong. Mm -hmm. Not bad. It definitely comes after. Mm -hmm. Like that bitterness starts to roll in after. The chocolate and the milk are compared to the chocolate and the kinder, just even the milk chocolate surrounding on the outer bases is so different. Like yep. there's a very noticeable difference. Oh, yeah. I'm more drawn to probably this chocolate. Agreed. With it. Um, yeah. Really good. Le Flay. 
Le flame. This better not be toffee. Ooh, it looks like there's, well, actually, I think it was just melted, but there's little like, air bubbles in it. I think typically you'd get a good crunch with it. Ours is just half melted. Seems to be just like a normal milk chocolate as well, but like Marissa said, air bubbled inside and then has that coat of smooth chocolate over the top. Well, it's this Alp, Alpen milk. But I think that's like the mountain milk, like, Alp, like Alps. That's what I wondered, because I've seen that on them, and I was like, Wondering if it's associated with Alp, and I think it is. Yeah. Really good. Yeah. Bunta Kakao Linsen in <laughs> colors. I Not. probably slaughtered that again, but whatever. <laughs> Tanner's learning a lot. It looks like little M&M &M pieces. I like the texture. Not a fan of the flavor. You? My mouth's like overpowered with chocolate right now. Quick rinse. <laughs> but yes, I couldn't agree with you more. I do like the crunchiness of it, but... Now that it's starting to come through, the flavor's not as good as I would think. I think it's just the little chocolate crunchies that I'm not a fan of those. Should we okay. go ahead? <gasps> oh, there we go. Oreo Wrap sandwich it up as is the, what this as is. The is weather called. goes crazy. Mm. I got mostly Oreo cookie on that one, so kind of biased. <laughs> I liked nice. it. I got a good mixture of both, and I thought it was really fun to add in some milk chocolate into the Oreo. Yeah, this one looks like just a simple um, biscuit or cracker in the middle. Yeah. No, it's not bad. I'm not a huge cracker and chocolate kind of person, too. Like, I like to have crackers with cheese. Yeah. But still. Yeah, I agree. It wouldn't be my first choice, but... I mean, you, when chocolate's added to anything, you can't <laughs> really say no. I think there's another similar milka kind like this. Um, that's just maybe a different biscuit or cracker inside. Yeah, your name, I think that's true. Our final two. It looks like we have the noisetta. Mm -hmm. And I would assume that's some sort of nut-based... Hazelnut? Hazelnut. Yep. Hazelnut. Really creamy. It looks like, and the texture is so soft. Again, don't know if that's because of the sun rays or, or not, but it's softer <laughs> really, than other ones. A really good one though. Yeah. That flavor of the hazelnut is really strong. It reminds me more of the Kinder flavors, just probably because all the hazelnut. Caramel. We had some people comment and say, have to send this caramel milk of brand home because they loved it so much. Hmm. I'm surprised you like it. You're not a caramel person. Yeah. I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised by this. Like she said, I don't really like caramel. Snickers has a little bit, and I like that. But like <laughs> Twix, I'm not a fan of. I probably wouldn't choose this one. I like the very small taste that I got out of it. But what did you think? I thought it was good. There's a lot of caramel packed in this little piece. It's a really great caramel, and I like it. It's yeah. good. Yeah. What do you think your favorite is? The milk gun. I don't know. I think for the difference, because we had so much of the same hazelnut base. I think I really appreciated this milk and strawberry one. That being said, fruit and chocolate is not typically my favorite. So I would say that out of that one, I really enjoyed that one and then just the original. I am a milk chocolate fan like through and through. Oops, sorry, Panda. Hippo. <laughs> yeah, so I think that I number one would be just the regular one and then number two for the milka would be that strawberry milk. It's funny because I'm the same as Tanner, except I would also add in the extra cocoa one. Yeah, it was so fun to try this yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. My stomach, no no offense. <laughs> <laughs> we had a sandwich and some grapes before, and so I was like, oh, like, this will be good. Like, I won't be as upset. But right now, this was kind of, this was a lot. But a lot of fun. And yes. honestly, if I were to have to pick between the two, sorry, Kinder, I'm going to have to choose Milka. What about you? <laughs> I think the same as well. We're just, hazelnuts is not as popular of a flavor in candies in the States. So we're warming up to this. Maybe it will change over the years that we're here. But as for now, I'm going to have to go with milk over Kinder. When it comes to Kinder, the Hippo was definitely my favorite. My second favorite was this Cocos, um, the Ferrero. My least favorite out of the Kinder was probably the Cards or the Country. Both good. They're like, I didn't hate any of them. Just probably my least favorite. When it comes to the Milka, my least favorite was this because of the little crunchies. What would you say? Same. I think that would probably be my least favorite. And then on this side, probably the milk based. Sorry. I know that it's We're funny because I, like, because I like the milk based with the strawberry flavor on this side, but I think that this one was just so full of it that that was a little bit too much for me. This has been really fun for us. We've had a great time. Thank you so much for the suggestions. Mm -hmm. Be sure to keep out a look for the other video that we do, which mm -hmm. is Lint. And Ritter Sport. Yeah. We got you, German made chocolate. You guys let us know what your favorite Kinder chocolate is and your Milka. Because if it's not on this list, you know we're gonna have to try it at some point. Comment below. Again, thanks for being here. Did you already say, be sure to hit that subscribe button? No. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and we'll catch you later.